Hi, Zoya here from FTC Founded Cube 1818.3. This is our December League Meet 2 robot, Sonic version 1.5. Our sizing box is 18 by 18 by 18. And here is Sonic version 1.5. As you can see, he has his team number here. And here is Mark and Raju to explain the improvements we have made since League Meet 1. Hello, we are FTC Team 18183, The Rounded Cube. I am Mark. And I am Rajiv. And we are two of the three builders in our team. Along with Prabhav, we have been working on improving our original robot. This is our new and improved robot, Sonic 1.4, that is ready for the December FTC Ultimate Goal competition. We improved four main elements in our robot. First, we improved the arm by adding a gear system that improves the torque, increasing the strength of the arm. We also 3D printed a lighter claw to reduce the weight of the arm, making it easier for the motor to handle. Additionally, we added a foam stopper to prevent the arm from falling and potentially causing damage to the robot. Second, we upgraded our intake system by adding two wheels to the second pair of rollers and adding a foam roller to secure rings as they are transferred to the shooter area. We also added a side panel that prevents the rings from getting stuck in the gear, which would damage the rings. Third, we completely changed our shooter area. First, we 3D printed a guide that holds shoot rings straight consistently. Second, we lowered the shooter to allow it to hold up to three rings. We added a sheet metal wall to guide and contain the rings. We also added a sheet metal platform on top of the servo arm, so when it flicks the bottom ring into the shooting wheel, the other two rings don't get stuck behind it. We also mounted a motor directly to the shooting wheel instead of using a bevel gear system, which was causing inconsistencies in our shooting capabilities. We added a color sensor and a gyro sensor to the bottom of the robot to improve navigation and movement around the field. During our second sprint for the December League Meet, we designed our ring shooter and a more efficient claw using CAD. In the weeks prior to our first competition, we had used the trial and error method to put a shooter together. But when we took the time to design it using CAD, we knew exactly which parts we needed in order to build it, and we saw much more consistent shooting results. Thank you to Grant from FRC Team 2338 Geared Forward from Oswego for helping us learn how to use CAD so that we could transition our drawings into these designs. Since we cannot practice in one place due to COVID, we need to transport the robot to different team members' houses. During one such transport five days prior to League Meet 2, Sonic had an accident and suffered extensive damage. The three main mechanisms, the arm, ring picker, and shooter, were all damaged in addition to other internal damage. We were devastated to see the bent and broken parts, but we encouraged each other to put them together again and get ready for League Meet 2 starting tomorrow. We hope Sonic can do some of the things he could before his big fall. Best of luck, Sonic. We love you. If you would like to watch Sonic's six competition matches for League Meet 2, make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that like button down below.